Boundaries and Bridges is a collaborative project. The collaborators involve a number of different artists in downtown Chester, particularly organized around the Artist Warehouse led by Devin Walls and Widener University's College of Arts and Sciences. I'm Sharon Marm, the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and Devin and I uh, developed this project in response to uh, voices that we were hearing as we were doing another project called Chester Made, where we were doing story gathering sessions. And as we were bringing Widener University community members together with members of the greater Chester community, we found that people were on the edges, articulating concerns, perceptions of uh, distrust between university members and community members, concerns about safety, um, and just in general um, issues and concerns um, where they saw different kinds of boundaries. What I think that uh, the Boundaries and Bridges project is supposed to bring to the community is just more community engagement. You're supposed to see more relationships being drawn between the university and the community. And the bridge is to symbolize a crossing point for community and university. And we've been seeing a lot of the work being done here in downtown through a lot of the workshops with the community and Widener University, and it's growing. I think it's very important that this project came about. It gives us a good um, opportunity to bridge gaps in the communication. It gives me a chance to talk to the students about the history of Widener. It gives them an opportunity to learn more about the city in, in a positive light as opposed to what's been portrayed out here in the media on a regular basis. One of the legendary stories about Widener University is that our prior president, when he came in, found out that there had been some plans to build a wall around Widener University, and he refused to build that wall. And that's been incredibly important um, to Widener's understanding of itself as a metropolitan anchor institution, but we also heard people talking about there being invisible walls. And so we're using, through the Boundaries and Bridges project, uh, creative placemaking methodologies to both identify what those boundaries are, even if they're not real walls, and then to use those same arts methodologies to break down the walls, to really think about what we can do to further and strengthen collaborative partnerships and to build trust. Because when you look at it, Widener University looks at it at Chester as a whole different entity, not that they are a university in the city of Chester. When people from the city say they're going to Widener, it's like they're going somewhere else, yeah, I'm about to go over Widener, but you're still in the same city. And when people say coming into any of the neighborhoods in Chester, it's like, I got to go into Chester now. I'm like, nah, you're already in Chester. So they need to understand that they're a part of the community and it's, it's gains on both sides of it. So the Boundaries and Bridges project is basically structured around a number of different kinds of projects. And the, the topics actually were determined by having large community activities, where even though in those activities we didn't run them just as information sessions, we really ran them as themselves a, a kind of way of showcasing creative placemaking activities. So we always made something together, but in making something together we also gathered information that we needed about where people wanted to go. My name is Jane Thompson and I am a faculty member in English and Creative Writing at Widener. I'm also the director of the Chester Writers House. Um, I'm on the core team for Boundaries and Bridges and um, with that, I, we, I wound up being involved in a number of projects um, for Boundaries and Bridges, but in particular, the very first one was we did a canning, um, teaching children to can um, fruit and make homemade ice cream. Um, and one of those, we, we have a an old-fashioned crank ice cream maker, but we also taught them to make it with nothing but plastic bags and ice. So that was an awful lot of fun, and we did that with um, students from Chester Education Foundation. Uh, one project that came out of the food and creative placemaking workshop has been called Sowing Good Seeds. And actually what people did is they um, brought, to, it brought together a local nutritionist, 
um, some local urban farmers, with creative writing faculty and uh, students from Widener University in, in addition to some of our environmental science faculty. And together they developed a project where they were teaching kids and their parents about healthy eating, about where food comes from, and then using the arts to help the kids document everything that they've learned. Hi, I'm Lenona Sigri Odom. I'm the developer of Sowing Good Seeds, which is a um, creative placemaking workshop that I developed after I attended the creative placemaking workshop that Judy Wicks facilitated. I was inspired. Um, and so Sowing Good Seeds was developed to bring about healthy behaviors in health and wellness. So we introduced um, participants to gardening, farming, um, produce, preparing healthy meals. We delivered healthy meals to the community. So my students at this uh, Harvest Festival in Chester for the November 12th Harvest Festival were interviewing people to determine what types of vegetables they uh, enjoyed the best and so that parents would have an idea of what kind of vegetables to grow for the farmers markets. What we did out at the farm here, the site of the, uh, the workshop was at the, at the garden. Um, where, we, where we grow all this produce um, and, and then we go out and sell it in the community. Um, and we also save seed like we have over here. We have compost and fruit trees and blueberry bushes. Sharing agriculture with the, with the young people here in the community. Getting people reconnected with the land. I learned how easily the community folks and the kids can work together and uh, create some healthy activities and healthy food and healthy mindsets. In order for something to be beneficial, the community has to see it as valuable. And I think any relationship and building relationships is, is value. And then another project I'm working on with women from Chester is something called the World Split Open Story Collaborative, where a, a women from all, if you live, work, volunteer, or go to school in Chester, you are eligible, and you can write answering um, what you think of the following lines. What would happen if one woman told the truth about her life? The world would split open. It is to highlight how powerful the effect of women coming together and sharing their life stories, be them good or bad, and how it might highlight the stories and the impact that might enlighten other women as to how they might continue no matter what's going on in their personal lives. And We have a publisher for the book which is really really exciting and we'll be using the book to do workshops with young women in high schools, um, you know boys and girls club, um, juvenile detention centers, prisons, um, that kind of thing so we're really excited about that and I'm working on that with um, about eight other women which has been very exciting for me. Hey what's up my name is Wilquan Dorsey I go by Q. I'm a poet from Chester and I was a part of um, Boundaries and Bridges from, with Widener and what I got out of it, it was a great workshop. It was very essential and I think that's what's needed in the community. It came from the Widener standpoint. We spoke with Widener students and Chester residents so basically we just basically put together our problems and our concerns from each standpoint and try to make it a happy medium. So I think it's really beneficial to have in the community, especially, especially like living in Chester. It's like so much division and separation and I feel like as though we're all in this city and we should all be one and just be some type, create some type of unity and oneness. So, And I think with projects like this you can, you can gain respect for one another because I think the divide, the biggest divide is really a cultural divide. We don't understand each other's culture enough so with this this platform of boundaries and bridges, we can learn to understand and to respect each other's spaces a lot more. And then they'll get a chance to see that Chester isn't just a bunch of violent people robbing, stealing, and drug dealing. And we'll look at Wider University like it's not just a bunch of rich white people coming in here to steal stuff. So it's an equal divide, and the bridge is that common denominator. So hopefully, respect will be the ultimate gain. Well, I guess it's like it's the whole workshop, the boundaries and bridges, it's, it's creating conversation. In order, in order for that to happen, conversation is needed to address like, any type of issues or problems or concerns. And I feel as though when things go unsaid or not talked about, it creates division, it creates separation, it creates anger, it creates emotions that we can't like, 
it caused some type of release. After all the fact, all the factories have closed up and and um, and fallen on hard economic times, the people are still here, and the and they are an enormous asset to the community. I love the energy of um, boundaries and bridges, and I think that the work that is being done in Chester to break down the barriers has been effective. With my creative placemaking workshop, along with all of the events that I attended that they did, what I find is that we get to network, we get to find that we are all on common ground, um, on a common journey, and we are all seeking love, hope, and happiness. So I'm excited to be a part of it. It's always important for people and communities to tell their own stories. That's what makes the Boundaries and Bridges program very important. It's important for people to speak with their words, their power, their truth. What's up everybody, my name is Sam Anthony, Chester resident, filmmaker, writer, director. Film Workshop basically gave, it gave the opportunity to writers, whoever, I mean people that were writers in the workshop to really give a, give a story of how they feel as though Chester is connected to Widener or an outlet on showing how Chester can be connected to Widener. And when it comes to like separation in communities, it's important for people to hear from one another. Sometimes in communities, people misunderstand one another. So when they get an opportunity to get together and to learn from one another, it helps to break down the alienation that sometimes exists. So it's just good to see the university connect with this community that I was born into. And it's good to get people who go to Widener to go over the bridges. My involvement in the film and theater workshop was, it was one of my ideas. I, I came up with the idea based off a, a film festival that we started years ago with the kids here in Chester and with our summer camps. So I thought it'd be good to take something like that and use it as a bridge, as a mechanism where you can pull two different groups together and have some fun creating some film and theater workshops that the community could, get, could enjoy. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Russell Barber. I'm from the city of Chester, PA. Well, I'm a part of the uh, theatrical piece called uh, Tell Em About Em. Yeah, like I said, I, I play like the high head in, in the play, um, kind of the young man that don't have no direction in life. He, um, he's, he's running from something, he don't even know what he's running from. And he um, meets a woman that basically ends up being his, um, his angel in disguise or whatnot, if you will. So I'm learning a lot from all the guys, from Devin and, and, and Ms. Uh, Sharon and all the different people. Um, you know, it's, it's a great thing for the city and for uh, Widener as well. My name is Jared Blair Wally. So I'm part of the film division of the festival. So my part, my team with David Haynes and Derek Hammond, with Felix Ortiz and Kareem Roberts, Robertson is to uh, show a young man from Chester crossing the bridge to Widener making a hard decision is should he leave his old neighborhood to go to his new neighborhood, which will be Reiner campus. The definitely the film workshop and the theater workshop itself is basically just, it's basically giving a recap on what basically Devin and Widener Dean and all that stuff that we were trying to do to connect the university. And hopefully that the film workshop basically shows that uh, within the last like, year and a half it's been doing, that it actually worked. So it's good to finally see Widener embrace the community that is here and ready to embrace it right back. The one thing that I got out of the Boundaries and Bridges project was the chance to see people from all areas working together. Uh, for me to sit in and watch some of the uh, people in the theater workshops get together, write and rehearse lines and stuff, it was one of those things that we always wanted to see. We were wondering what they were doing on the university over there, just as much as some of the people in the university was wondering about some of the things that we were, we were doing in the community. It definitely showed that you know it was once a big separation from Widener to Chester and now uh, the progress, I feel as though it's definitely, it's definitely different. You see more Widener students on the Avenue and States and in Chester. You feel uh, a lot of Chester people, they really go to Widener. You know, even myself, I go over there sometimes to like film or something like that. So it's definitely a progress. It's definitely a connection now. It's definitely uh, one community now. Not no, oh, we're going to Chester, oh, we're going to Widener, stuff like that. So It's an opportunity for us to break through some boundaries, cross some bridges into better understanding of what the possibilities are. This project gave us a chance to be in the same rooms working on things so that that question wouldn't have to be answered anymore. We could physically see what each other was working on. So some of the films and stuff that came to fruition out of the film workshop and some of the theater pieces came together with both groups involved. It's just amazing to see what the future of Chester holds with the university and the community. We just hope that it keeps growing.